11 Live News at Noon starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Christy Diaz. Right now at noon, we mark a historic day in Atlanta as the city honors the lives lost during the Atlanta child murders. City leaders just unveiled a memorial to honor them. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens joins us live now from City Hall where that memorial will stay. Latasha, this is a somber day as we all remember, but it's also a day loved ones really appreciate. That's right, Christy. It is a somber day, but it is one that has a semblance of peace because these relatives now have a place where they can come and honor their loved ones in a public way. Let's take a look at some video from the unveiling ceremony that just wrapped up about 35 minutes ago. The grounds of City Hall were filled with victims, loved ones, city leaders, and many who had a role in the death investigations. A 55 foot long wall displays the name of each victim. Today, a fresh white flower was placed below each name. Now, here's a little background on why this is so significant. From 1979 to 1981, at least 28 children and a few young adults went missing and were later found murdered, and some were never found and are presumed dead. We spoke to Valerie Mathis. Now, she is the sister of Jeffrey Mathis. He went missing at 10 years old and wasn't seen again until his body was recovered from a wooded area about a year later. It means so much to me that now I could come and see him. Other people that know of him can come and see it. And the people that don't know anything about the missing and murdered children can come and be, you know, just look at it and see what happened. And back out here live, you're looking at a flame attached to the end of the memorial that will remain lit at all times. Now, this memorial is available for anyone at any time to come and say their, um, give their last respects and honor the lives lost. We'll have much more in the next half hour. Christy, back to you. All right, Latasha, thank you.